Welcome back to the Div 12 Resi's Waddle Park Season Game Day Vlogs. We have a massive clash in monsoonal conditions on a Saturday afternoon. We are taking on Alston Wick. We have Connor Rogers back in the side. We have Jim Brady on debut. And this is a valuable four points up for grabs as the ladder starts to tighten up towards the end of the season. If you have been enjoying the Div 12 Resi's Waddle Park season and you wanna show some support, subscribe to the channel down below. All your support spurs the fellas on when we run out there on game day. So there's five games left of the season. We've won three games in a row. We come down to Alston Wick. It's an 11.40 clash. It's away from the zoo. So this is our second consecutive game away from the zoo. And we've got a job to do. Get in, get out. But we ventured down to Alston Wick on a bit of a mission to bank another valuable four points. So Bailey McCabe can cop it for being late and rightfully so. I think he broke the world record the other week by getting to the ground 20 minutes before he ran out. But Checkers and the lads got there at a similar time. I reckon they might have been later than Baz was the other week because they were picking Roggie up from the airport who's travelled all the way back from Mexico to step off the flight and play with us today. I've never been late to anything in my life, but uh, it's a bit difficult to get somewhere when you're travelling from the other side of the planet. I've been dragged the last few weeks for being late to games and a little bit hypocritical because Checkers and Co rocked up 30 minutes, genuinely 30 minutes late. You're here early. Have you heard the rumours that our coach isn't getting here until 20 minutes before? Wow. Checkers wow. isn't here until 20 minutes before the match. Yeah, massive news and he was ripping into me on the vlog last week. This is disgraceful. It's not good at all. It's like a mixture of warm and gold. Look at that. The outside's like hot, the inside's that cold. Looks horrific. It's really not nice. We made it. Struggling to find a park. It's just permit zones galore, but. Uh, Aaron, 20. It's all worth it. For the animales. Red Bull, ready to go. For the strapping guys. Yeah, so everyone's getting ankles and shoulders, and I just get my heel done because I get the worst blisters in the world. And the only thing that's helped is the heel. I once, I put a band-aid on the other week and the band-aid slipped off and the heel got rubbed so bad. I'll get a photo of it. Didn't, didn't do his job, so now we tape it. Who got up first this week? He did. Okay, but let's just, let's... I was working till very late last night, early this morning. I, I, I wasn't at home till three, right? Who's not sat? And then I get up, I try to start my car, does not start. So now I'm in the rain, under my car, trying to fix shit. Whereas this man, he just, he just rocks up late because he wants to. I've, I've got valid excuses. Hello, Dan. Wow, well, I'm feeling a lot better now that I've found the ground. Um, a little update on our coach and our international ring-in at the moment. I say international, he's flying from Mexico. Uh, Connor Rogers was supposed to fly in last night. His flight has been delayed. Uh, the coach... Uh, and our Ford, light, our Ford Pocket, Jim Brady, have gone to the airport to go get him this morning and they're currently on their way back from the airport to get to this game. So it'll be very interesting to see what state they pull up in and how it's going to turn out. We might need to play someone different in the ruck. We might need to play Dossie in the ruck, for, for God's sake. Pretty good deck. It's pretty skinny, but it's nice and long. But I love getting out the back and kicking some cheapies in the wet. So I think the wet will allow me to do that. <laughs> but it, it's, for, it's Arctic, it's Arctic conditions. We're in a monsoon. It, Scotty, we're in a monsoon. It's cold, I, I didn't know it was gonna be this weather when I said yes. It's just raining. Said yes. <laughs> I wanna play in trackies. <laughs> I've got my long skins on. It's just, checkers is light, we don't have a bill. Excited for the wet weather conditions? I love wet weather conditions because I don't really have a good drop pun on me anyway, so in the wet weather, everyone can't kick, drop puns. So it just makes me look normal. And I'm playing center half forward today. It's four goals, clip this when I kick four, or four plus, I'll say. Yeah, got off the plane. Um, I was asleep the whole time. Found out we hit turbulence. So I've rocked up an hour and a half late. Straight off the plane, ready to rock and roll. I watched Oppenheimer on the plane. Good movie. It's good to be here. Good to see the deck for the first time. I think we've got a bit of a cricket pitch sort of situation. Luckily I won't be doing any of the midfield stuff today, so won't be getting any mud on the on the white shorts, so 
very happy to just be sitting in that square there, and that square up there, kicking snags. Very uh, disjointed warm up today. <laughs> I feel like I got everything I needed to get in. Uh, I'm talking about the rest of the team. Yeah, to... <laughs> we're all about individual prep here at uh, the Animals. Oh, just giving back to the community. Hello, boys. How are we? How are you? Stay nice and warm. Yeah. Stay dry as well. Yeah, half time, I'd love that. Woke up, horrible day, pissing down rain, and you don't really want to play. You don't want to get up, I definitely don't want to get up for wet weather games, but almost had a feeling of, geez, we're on. Like, we, we had this feeling of up and about this. Early in the first quarter, Alston Wick had a lot of territory. They started really, really well, and our backline's ability to absorb and absorb and absorb was um, really impressive. We had the, um, the Twin Towers back in our defence, which was handy. Um, the Keegans were back to give us a chop out. Dan Thorson was doing what Dan Thorson does. And Bailey McCabe started really, really hot in that first term. So um, without the back line, you know, maybe they could have put on a bit more of a score. So we've got to work on that when we start games of footy. Well, we knew the game plan was get the ball to Brady. And we got the ball to Brady, and he didn't use it well. And Jim Brady, elusive Jim Brady, runs around the back, and he's absolutely missed. Jim Brady has missed. But if you're calling for a handball at the top of the goal square, you'd want to make sure you finish off your work, Jim Brady. I could see the headline already. I wanted to see the Brady bunch. I wanted to. I wanted him to kick 10 goals. Missed from t genuinely two metres in front. Oh, no, that would have been the perfect start for the Wattle Park Animals, but the perfect start for Jim Brady on debut. So the last play went McDonald to Cookson. This time, Cookson takes a mark at half forward and finds McDonald. The link up, the chemistry between these two needs to be studied. I go back and I miss an opportunity. Got to go back and watch the tape there as to why I missed it because I've been feeling confident with my set shots of late, but I was really frustrated that that one went across the face. I love seeing the McDonald Cookson connection. Both similar plays in the sense that you don't need to be a high possession, you need to be a high impact. There was a bit of a Sixth sense operating between you two there. Because we know that that, is a, that that connection's a bit of a barometer for the team. When that's up and about, we're up and about. Cam Moratore that goes to work, gives it to Jim Brady. Jim Brady, on debut for the Animals, is on the board. Jim Brady got his goal, which I was uh, stoked to see. If you're coming all the way from South Australia to play a game of thirds footy, you'd want to hope to kick a big bag, so he kicked one. And this time, we do get Jim Brady involved, and he does kick a six-pointer. I was worried that that was going to be uh, another five meter out miss um jim brady classic but it wasn't to be and he kicks the six it was good to see the man get on the board for anything but content what was it <laughs> anything anything is content <laughs> anything but content that now that's a better page i'll give you anything but content yes, but you have you played fifa and yeah you, you lose like 2-1, yeah. you lose 1-2, and you have like 90% disposal, yeah. and then Trey's just there with his 10% disposal and kicks a few cheapies, that's what it feels like at the moment. Yeah. We are right hogging right the ball, but we're not doing anything with it. Just uh, a bit of an almost quarter for the boys, we had a lot of times the ball went inside 50. Um, it's wet, it's slippery, we missed a couple of chances, um, but we'll be alright. I think we're in good stead, they kicked one late which was frustrating, but we should get a bit of a gap on them this term I believe. That might be the paint from yeah. the, look at the, look at the blood on the foot mate. Yeah, exactly. Kicking too many goals. What about that first, first shot you had? Mate, you did this in the Rezies game the other week. Oh, okay. uh, you bring up the bad, you don't talk about the good. Let's, let's talk about the positive. I actually went the wrong side, I just Ray. 
wearing his number. Yeah. So I did the stray, went the wrong side. You had to honour him for your first shot. Exactly. So I should have gone the right. Would have snagged it, but. But you got one in the end. Got a bit too. Yeah. Got a nice cheap one. And then I actually kicked the other one, but they reckon it got touched. Like stitch up. Yeah, that's right. Can't oh, them all. Really? Really good. Um, you looked really lively. Oh, uh, I loved it. I had some. I had some time on the wing where I was like, you over the far side of the ground. Yeah, I saw myself getting a bit of the footy there. But I, that, my first touch, I just fucking hand passed to Roger, who had someone right behind him. That's okay. It was the worst, worst idea ever. But, nah, I'm, it's promising. I think the forward line we've got today is really good. Cool. And we can, I reckon with the wind here, we can kick 10. I reckon we can kick 10 here. Um, I just said to Paz, I was like, you ever played FIFA and you own 90% of the territory, or you own 90% of disposal, but you end up losing the game? That's what it's feeling like, isn't it? We had, the ball, we, the ball was in defensive 50, but we had it the whole time. Yeah. But they had the ball for a whole one minute of that other quarter, but we haven't kicked goals. You gotta get it forward. You gotta get it forward. No more handballs, because the handballs are sticking just as much as the kicks. Yeah. So the handball is like going to 10% and the kicks are going to 10%. So we might as well take the extra 30 metres on it rather than the five metres. So it's just kick and play the middle. It's a small ground. It's exactly like playing at Water Park, isn't it? It's a pretty yeah, similar yeah. oval. Yeah. Don't be afraid to play the middle. We can, we can go in there, we can risk it a little bit. I feel like we've got good enough skills to risk that. We don't come have to play on, the wings. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Here we go. Come on, guys. Go the middle. Roll the clock. In the work here. Get your ass, boys. Yeah, get your ass. And Bailey McCabe. Now, when Bailey McCabe is motivated, he's one of my favourite footballers to play with and watch. He pushes up from defence, gives a big fist to lock it inside our forward half. So some of my favourite AFL players talk about reaction times, and you've got to be reactive. You've got to be uh, reactive quick. And so... When I see the ball go out to the fat side, I move. Kids are mover. And I just get moving. And big fist over the line, let our mid set up again. And uh, Dossie McDonald, love that one. Bailey McKay played the best game I've seen him play for the football club. And I was almost certain he was best on ground. And I thought, what has happened to this man since the month I was away in Mexico? And I was trying to figure out, I thought, maybe he's got a new girlfriend that's sort of keeping the morale up. Maybe he ate something different for Brecky. And as I'm walking off the ground, I see that his parents have come all the way for Ballarat, which is sweet to see. The parents come from Ballarat. Hopefully they come every week because he was just about best on ground, the man. See Rogers, see McDonald connection of sort of best friendship the past seven years has been one that's been massaged quite, quite strenuously over the first few rounds of the season. But the Mick Allen, see Rogers best friendship of all through high school was one that I really wanted to see the exclamation mark put on. And I feel like that game was the start of bigger things to come. The ball's on the deck. I've won the contested posse. I look up and Mick Allen, who probably has the best legs in the team when it comes to aerobic capacity, is on his bike. I give him the hands and I knew that he was going to do something with it. Sort of like the old chemistry thing in FIFA, where if you pass to someone you've got good chemistry with, it's more likely they're going to find a target next up. He sees Jared Davis in the far forward pocket, laces him out, and that's another goal on the board for the Waddle Park Animals. It's good to have Jay Davis in the team because Jay Davis can slot in anywhere. If you look at this game, he actually comes back, helps us out in the defence. He's in the midfield for a lot of it. But good from, from Rog and Mickey. Moves the ball forward, gets into Davis's hands, and he kicks the first of the second quarter for us and, and just put us back on track. <laughs> Talk about cheap, cheap players and cheap disposal, cheap goals. McDonald with his first of the day, as cheap as it gets, cheap as chips. Um, six points is six points. Doesn't matter how you kick him, but um, McDonald just did the classic stingy goal there. Yeah. <laughs> I work with Cam, we work together. Um, in the same sort of uh, fabric factory and all day he was complaining about his ribs he said my ribs are killing me I can't lift these carpets my ribs are killing me and I was wondering why I thought I don't remember him copping a big hit or laying a big tackle but now you've jogged my memory yes some bloke sat on his head took mark of the year won themselves a car um, and Camaro Torre, he got exactly what he deserved. I feel like he's been talking a lot of smack to the opposition and that was his comeuppets. Top 10 worst feelings of all time, Camaro <laughs> Torre, the comedian. He did actually have a laugh after this screamer if you watch it. He wants us to delete the footage. You can't delete that. We went out that 
five second arcs. Just really quick, before you break away, it is a tiny oval, and it's weird, but we're getting a bit scared defensively. I don't know why we're trying to play a defensive game when we can be rolled. We, we want to roll over. We don't want this to be a dog fight with one or two goals in it. So, we keep kicking out to these zones. I know it's a little bit muddy in the middle, but fuck. This zone here, on a small ground, is one kick into straight to DOS, all right? And I don't know why, when it turns out, we start to go, oh, we'll put numbers behind the ball, and when sometimes we kick out, there's only one on six. Why are we dragging behind the ball a bit? I know we're, we're playing in the defensive 50. We're playing in the defensive 50 because all our men are there. So let's just straight in the middle. Right? A few times the space is out of those wings, but just cut those wings out of the game, and it, instead of being a two goal quarter, it becomes a 10 goal quarter. So, because it's wet and cold today, I brought two kits. This one is freezing, heavy and wet. I've subbed it out for a brand new one, so I'm nice and warm going into the second half. Um, yeah, buddy, Harvey Norman halftime hey. show here with uh, McCabe and Taylor. Wow, where we? Wow, that was a bloody, bloody good first half, wasn't it? Welcome back to the where we segment. <laughs> where we with uh, Will and Bailey? Where we, Will? That was a good mark. Wow, where your kicking was very good. Yeah, uh, delete that footage. That never happened, and. He actually kicked me in the knee before. You wouldn't have seen it, but he kicked me and punched me in the back of the head. So, should have been like six weeks suspension, but you know what? Where do you feel like, how'd that go? Um, better than last week. Better than last week? Last week's first half was horrendous. <laughs> so the third quarter kicks off. We've got a pretty comfortable lead. We're in, not cruise control, but we want to put the foot on the throat and walk away with a convincing win down at Elsenwick. So Baz, McCabe and Connor Rogers start going to work. They were everywhere in that term. Rog is the relieving kick. Bailey is the relieving kicker. My dad's a used car salesman and they say that you need good plugs. You need people who you can rely upon to sell you a good car. You do little deals with each other. You need good traps. Bailey McCabe is my trap. He is my plug. Coming out of the back line, he always looks for me and I always know that he's going to give me the good youth. I may have collected 40 disposals on the weekend. I reckon 30 of them came off the back of Bailey McCabe rebound 50s. Me and Rog have this unspoken chemistry. We don't really talk about it because we don't necessarily go out trying to look for each other, but we end up finding each other all the time. But in this third term, Rog and I linking up, found a few out the back goals. It was good to get that transition. We had a nice little play where the ball gets kicked over the top to myself. I should have marked it, but I dropped it. And after I dropped it, I picked the ball up and had a shot. And it was meant to be like a snapped dribbler, but I ballied the footy and I almost put it into the posts. So I was happy that it went through, but I almost made an absolute kerfuffle of this situation. We had three awesome plays. One of them ended up in a behind. Two of them ended up in goals. A couple of really attractive link-up plays. Me to Schmitty to Cam. Cam goes to Jim. Jim unfortunately hits the post. If you look at that back, it's a very questionable ball drop from Jim Brady. Cam went to Jim and Jim Brady hit the post. Jim Brady is having an almost game and a half. I think he's had three or four shots on goal now. He's kicked one goal, but he could have had a few. Bailey McCabe and Rog running rampant. They were fluffing around with it a little bit at the top of the 50. Um, we did get ambition mixed up with talent there for a second. And um, yeah, we need to get it in deep. I think that was an issue all day was we weren't pumping it long inside forward 50. But um, hey, it's not about the destination. It's not about the result. It's about the journey. And you know, we, it may not have been pretty, but we had fun. But they were handballing it back and forward. Will Taylor picks up, snaps over his head. And Tossie gets the, another just genuine bullshit snag. Just bullshit snag. I was out of position and my opponent marked it. But because the ball is slippery, a little bit of fatigue, it slipped through his fingers and I picked it up and snapped a goal over the top. I know Bailey McCabe's been saying it was out the back and easy, 
Um, but I can't argue with that one in that case. I, I did feel almost guilty putting that one through the big sticks. And then we had another one. So Rodgy gets a nice mark on the boundary line and finds me with a little squabbler into the middle. Yes, I stubbed my toe for that for that play. I went to kick to Baz. And I remember sometimes those 15 metre kicks are the ones that um, you bugger up because you're not concentrating. So I remember in that moment I thought, Let's really concentrate on this and not stuff it up. So I was so focused on head over the ball, make contact with the middle of the footy, but I forgot to uh, take in consideration that there was grass underneath me. Stubbed my toe in absolute beauty, but yeah, went inboard. Then we hit, it was like a, it was literally like a drill. It was like a training drill. Hit the 45 inboard, hit the 45 outboard, get it back in and slide it through for the sausage roll and the best play Waddle Park's done all year. And because I'd stuffed up a couple of set shots, I played on. And because I'd stuffed up a couple of drop punts, I went the banana. And it just curled beautifully through the big sticks for number four for the afternoon for McDonald. Now, this one is not a scragglers goal. So, well done, McDonald. Great finish. Six points. I need to stop saying six points. <laughs> Man, I'm blown up. <coughs> I cannot stop coughing. <coughs> if you identify anyone with an asthma puff heart, let me know. I've been in 35 degree weather for the past month. Come back here and it's about negative two and pissing down. So, you know, that's evolution. You either adapt or perish, and I will adapt. Yeah, great turn. Um, put it on the scoreboard finally. We had a lot of effort throughout the first two and a half quarters. So, got to look at the ice cream in the back end of that turn, which felt good. So what does that say? Just, where the footy? I love the cheapies out the back. They're three, so a couple more. I want a little five piece, five piece combo with medium chips and a large cake. The ball got kicked out on the full and straight away because I, I someone else was getting the footy for me and I'm looking and I'm thinking, where is C McDonald? I knew that you knew that I was going to kick it to you. I knew I was going to kick it to you. And I was just looking for maybe one more little sign. And then um, I've got the footy and I've sort of turned, I'm looking at you and you gave me a little point. Like you sort of gave me one little, that's where I want it. And that's where I put it. To be honest, it was probably the best kick I've ever done in my 20 years of playing football because there was a sea of players in there and it dropped in the one spot where you could take the chest mark, went back, kicked the goal. But that's the connection we've built. Lining up for my fifth, I got in my own head. I started to walk in and then I'm like, the ball's slippery. I don't know where I'm walking. I don't know if I've got my strides right. So I stopped. I had an extra breath. I walked in fluidly and consistently and popped it over the top through for my fifth goal of the game. But that connection between me and Roggy, uh, working an absolute charm in this fourth turn. <laughs> Tree pops up. Jim Brady with a screamer. Did not get hands to this one. Landed in his lap. Jim Brady had a lot of shots at goal in that last quarter um, and kicked a couple of them out on the full. <laughs> but the ball went long and he took... If it wasn't for the Elston Wick lad taking a hanger, this would have been mark of the day. Jim Brady sails across the pack, Leo Barry style, juggles it out of his chest and then as he lands on his back, it lands on his chest. And I went bananas. I was like, Jim, that is unbelievable. No, it was awesome to have Jim in the forward line. And if you're having seven shots on goal, it means you've done something right. He was putting himself in the right positions. And um, yeah, he was unlucky to not have a bit of a day out old Jim Brady. Wins in the wet. We're back. We're back. That's energy. Yeah, I know. Few times. Few connections. 
No, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Performance in the wet. Um, first game back from a month holiday. You covered the ground really well. Yeah, it was my first time sort of drinking water in 28 days and it felt good. I'm good to be rehydrated. I was a bit of a shock to the system. I've been in 35 degree weather every day for the last month. It's about negative two and I'm got an, I'm about two seconds away from a full weight after a day. Yeah, really? Oh, this is my Yeah. You're gonna mix that up? It's the trot for the lads, um, building something really cool here at the moment. Um, good, good club to be around, we're up and about, we're nice and positive, feels like we're improving every week, so um, pretty gritty win in those conditions, we'll take that every day of the week. Uh, we got a bye this week, so I'll bring out a bye week vlog, and then we'll be back the week after with the Waddle Park game day vlog, so um, yeah, go the boys. Yeah, good win. Um, Take a look at this one. How are we looking? Cankle chair. Oh. It's actually, well, do you reckon that's blown up a little bit since the start? All right. That's all right. We'll take that. A little win. That was good fun. Unreal. Um, what a blast. Such a good team. Hopefully they win the flag this year. I think they got everything. They got all the pieces they need. Just need to uh, execute on game day. Which they did today. Which is awesome. <coughs> Back in the team. Um, I think I might jump on the first plane back to Mexico because over there is about 28 degrees sunny every day. Here is about negative two, but feels good. Uh, got through without an asthma attack, so we're laughing. How many do I have, you reckon? Oh, and then that, yeah. <coughs> um, found Mick a couple of times, he found me a couple of times. Found Doss a couple of times, he found me a couple of times. Found Cam a couple of times, he found me a couple of times. Abby, Abby, um, yeah. Hey to McDonald, when you see this in editing, three weeks in a row I've said, let's go to Rocket, and you've been cutting them out. Where is the footage? It's, you only asked me one question, are you happy? I said, let's go to Rocket Rooftop. No one wants to go to Rocket Rooftop. I sent Shrey there this week. We sent him back to Adelaide. I'm getting to send a bit of video for your vlog if you don't want to know what Rocket Rooftop is. But Shrey's going there. Do we get on a plane? Do we get on a plane? Do we go to Rocket Rooftop tonight? Doss wanted to go to Lambies in Geelong. I think flights are cheaper than an Uber to Geelong. Let's go to Rocket Rooftop. So there you have it. The lads have gotten over the line by about 60 points. We are a game clear in third, but fourth and fifth are a game behind and one of the teams has better percentage so i think it's only top four make finals there's a few dicey games coming up against teams who have beaten us before so strap yourselves in because this is going to be a very tight race to the finals for bye week i am bringing out a weekly vlog i've already filmed some of it um, because i was down filming the bounce during the week i did a segment on yesterday's heroes which will be out this Sunday, which is super, super exciting. Um, so next week I'll have a bye week vlog and then we'll get into it. The last four vlogs and hopefully more of the Div 12 Resi's Water Park game day vlogs. So once again, I appreciate all of the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in and strap yourselves in because this is gonna be a mental conclusion to the season.